Um, there is a good reason for that. Um, I am the producer of the film, together with Wit Film, um, but Boris is not able to, uh, to do this interview anymore because of health reasons. He is very sick and um, so he's not able to join or to, to be available for this, uh, this interview. I have to start in the, in, at the beginning then, that it, I was, um, it was like, I think it's like 12, 13 years ago, I worked for a, another television program as a researcher and I found on the internet some, um, some small information about a village called Pomfret in the Kalahari Desert in South Africa. Uh, this, and I, the only thing I read about it was that they, these were black veterans fighting in favor of the white apartheid government during apartheid and, um, and fighting against the black uh, population in, um, in, in, in the townships. And I thought, this is, a, this is incredible. This is, I think this village uh, is, a, is a beautiful arena for a very important story. So after a while, I saw the film Borders made in Sierra Leone, um, Shadow Man. And I think that's a fantastic film. I, I liked it very much. And I thought, I'm going to talk to Borders about this village, about Pomfret. After talking with Borders, he came up. He was very enthusiastic about the village. And my enthusiasm got into him, uh, if I may say so. And he... Um, he, he came up with a, with a, with a, with a film plan um, and made a connection between these old veterans in this village and the Gospel of Judas. He wanted to ask these people uh, to play in the Gospel of Judas. Uh, and and, and that's, so that's where the film made a beginning. And it was, I think we started like four years ago uh, first meeting each other and talking about and after half a year we started financing the development of the film which was a very easy uh, easy way it was it, it, it went very well and the, the the funds in the Netherlands were very eager to join so that's where it started Yes, right after the post-production of this film, uh, uh, the treatments of Boris' cancer were done. There was no treatment left anymore. So immediately we thought, because during the production of this film, during all the visits we, we, we made in Pomfret, Boris always said, I think the, best, the, the most important thing to show this film will be in Pomfret itself. Before the world sh sees it, I want to show it in Pomfret. So, when he, when we heard that his disease, when his uh, sickness was not, it's not he's not getting any better. We ha we thought we have to be we have to um, um, be fast um, and go to Pomfret. So we organized that uh, to go there. We planned our trip two days prior to the to the to the uh, to the to our flight to uh, to Johannesburg. Boris called me and said, "Sorry, Eric, I'm not fit anymore. I'm not fit enough." to make this trip. I'm not, I cannot join you. I, I, I want to ask you to go there on your own and show the people the film. So I went there on my own and I had, of course, some assistance over there. People, and we built up a screen in the middle of this village um, on, a, on, a, on a small football uh, field. And, um, and it was amazing. It was like three, three and a half hundred people came to see the film and all the old veterans who played a very important and very um, intimate and, 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 and a very strong role in, the, in, in our film. They were all sitting in, up front in the, in the, in the, on, on this field and, 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 and watched the film and they, yeah, it was very emotional and people, um, the reactions were overwhelming and they, they loved it and they were proud of themselves. They were proud of, of the film. They, 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 they were very grateful to us that we want to show this, their story to the rest of the world. And so, and of course, uh, they, it was very sad that Boris could not be there. Yeah, well, it's in, in line of, the, of, the, of, of our film, of, this, of, of the Lamentations of Judas. 
I think we, what I, what I, what, what I think is very important is we have to realize that we are in a position, we in our safe, well, it's hard to say nowadays with this uh, disease, but a relatively safe world and, and a prosperous world and um, a wealthy life, it's very easy for us to judge. And um, so I think we should be very careful in uh, judging people. That's all I want to say.